As our capacity remaining approaches zero, our metering system's automatically going to change over to the standby tank and we're going to initiate regeneration. I'm going to manually do that. So we're alternating and we're now operating on the other tank. So the first stage of regeneration is backwash. So in the backwash cycle, which is typically about 10 minutes, we're taking fresh water in and we're pushing water through the resin bed. And that's agitating the resin and it's removing any silt or sediment that could be in the resin. And it's also eliminating any packing that could occur. Because as the resin sets and water goes through it, the resin bed will actually become more and more packed. And we'll see evidence of that with a drop between the inlet and outlet pressures. So if we see extreme drop in our pressure through the unit when it's in operation, we may need to shorten the intervals between regeneration. Um, if we see the evidence of silt and sediment as we're nearing the end of our backwash period, we may need to increase the duration of our backwash. The drain of our softener should always have an air gap. We don't typically want to hard pipe it to the floor because we won't have any way to see or verify the flow going through it. So an air gap is important and it's also nice to be able to take a sample of that water to drain to verify that it is clear or that we've got adequate flow. The combination of those frequency and duration is what ensures that our resin doesn't get clogged up with silt or anything else that's coming in with the water source.